Hi guys, it's Miss Shops a lot, and it is day two of Jewel Miss. This is the second day of Jewel Miss, and we have a jewelry bag. We don't know what's in here. It could be good. It could be awful. It could be amazing. We don't know, but we're gonna find out. So we're gonna get into this bag. If you watched yesterday, thanks for coming back. If you didn't watch, go back and take a look. And I will have one for the next 12 days. All right. Oh, let's get in here. I don't even know where to begin. Okay. Let's start here. All right. We got an earring. Got an earring. I see some Alex and Ani uh, bracelets. And the good thing about these is I put these, I lot these up and sell them in lots. If they're um, in better condition, I sell them on their own. If they're good ones, like sought after ones, which there are, um, I just sold all my friends' ones. Rest in peace, Chandler, uh, last week. So, all right, earring, that. I will be putting all of the mismatch, broken, um, random stuff in a bucket for um, crafting. So, I'm going to go through all of the bin, all of the bags and boxes and jars and whatever else I do this in these 12 days. And at the end of the 12 days, if anyone is interested in the leftover stuff to buy, all of this stuff is for sale, but if you're interested in a, in the crafting bag or bucket or box, giant box that will be left over after I do all of the things, just let me know. All right, so let's put it aside. Got some gold vintage, these look nice. Uh, this is not marked, but I would say these are 50s-ish, 40s, 50s. They do have some greening, so we're going to pop those in the mystery jar bag. I don't know what to call it. The craft bag, okay. This is really pretty. Um... I'm not sure if that's something that someone would wear. We'll try. This is fun. This is a faux uh, cameo. Vintage. This is so cute. This is a handmade... Um, like a bolero tie type thing. Oh my God. This is amazing. Is he marked? He is not. <gasps> Stop. Oh my God. If you know me, I love Christmas pins, brooches. Reminds me of my grandma. He's amazing. He's a keeper for sure. Um, I wanted to do something with my pin collection besides just hoard it in a drawer. So I did start putting them on a foam. Um, I did red velvet over foam tree and I just stab them in there. And this way it doesn't ruin the pin and I could take them off and wear them whenever I want. And it's a decoration. These are pretty little earrings. Little earrings there. This is just a plastic shiny bracelet. Oh, let me back you guys up. Sorry, I didn't realize you were so close. Um, these are cool to craft with or make something else out of. I don't know why it's getting so blurry. There we go. Those are neat. They look like broken glass. We're going to put those into the, the other bit. We have another Alex and Ani. The amount of money I spent on those, and it just, what are, they're just, it's crazy. 
Oh, we got a pair of pair. We got a pair. So, oh, those are actually cool. Right, we got a pair. Ugh, we're just gonna. He's just gonna hang out there so y'all can see him. No, no, because then it takes the focus away. All right. So, what do we have here? We have those weird two clasp necklaces. actually pretty put that in the craft mystery lot and then we have another it looks like Alex and I pretty tarnished crazy thing is somebody probably just paid a lot of money for that let me try to move this stuff over because I feel like we are getting getting um, harder to see. All right, this looks like it could be, I see fossil, or not, fo not fossil, uh, what's it called? Lucky, Lucky brand. Uh, oh, this is cool. This is cute. And it is this moon. And star. That's very cute. I like that. So lucky. And then we have this one that is not a brand. Looks to be handmade. Where they make these trees with the little chunks of crystal. It's very cute. We have a Sonoma glass beaded necklace. There we go. I'm gonna put that in the craft. In the craft pile. Ooh, these look promising as possible, Sterling. They are Monet. Very nice, though. I like the color gold. So, some Monet hoops. Um, these are Monet as well. At least this one is. Uh, these... These are Monet. This one's Monet too. I'm sure there's an extra one somewhere. <laughs> um, these are Monet as well. This is a K. Oh, that's really cute. A K and then a little picture frame charm. That in the craft box. Doesn't mean you have to craft with it. It's just where the stuff that the extra stuff goes. This is a I don't want to get stuck with a ton of jewelry, so I'm going to probably be putting a lot in there. This is a really pretty necklace. I'm going to put that in there as well. Uh, this is a cool vintage piece. This is Sarah Coventry. And it's like a multi-tier 
Oh, they're all the same. Necklace. This is really nice. The paper clips. Alright, and we got this. It does not appear to be sterling. Just a rope. Could possibly be cleaned up or put a different ending on that. Could make a new necklace out of it. This is something I would throw into the craft pile. Those are some good beads. This earring matches. This looks like Claire's. Can't tell. Again, a good craft piece. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna actually use that from something. <laughs> um, we got a matching bracelet to the Sarah Coventry piece. So we're just gonna we're gonna stick these together. Oops. I think this is worth the $10 right here that I paid for the bag. These are hematite, not magnets, hematite. I'm gonna put that in the craft jar. Um, This piece with the blue beads and the shell, super cute. But I think we're gonna throw that into the mystery box. It's a bin at this point, but. Then we have these little praying hands and it says Coventry. Grant me the serenity to keep the, but this chain does not look vintage. Um, nope, the chain is 14 carat. Let's see if I can, it's a nice long one too. carat so you never know what you're gonna find this is got to be at least a 24 inch or 22 inch maybe it's a nice chain though Yay! Very exciting. Um, you never know what these, you know, they're either junk or they're not. This is pretty. This looks like it would be Sarah Coventry. It is not marked. But I think it's really pretty. Let me see. Is it missing any stones? It's not, it's not missing any stones. Oops. I think it's really cool. Oh. Then we got this guy. This is neat. Can this be cleaned up? Possibly. I don't know. It is very iridescent in person maybe it's worn off we're gonna put that with the rest of the mystery bag we have a little hoop earring mystery oh these are cute okay what they're signed um no they're not 
I thought they were. How cute are these for Christmas? These are really stinking cute. All right. This is cute. A little worn. Mystery. Oh, we got a little snowflake. And it says something on the back. I think. I can't see. I can't see. Just a little snowflake. And this piece is very neat. What do we have? What is this? It moves. What the heck is this? Thoroughly confused. Is it supposed to go... This is broken. It is 18 karat gold plated. <laughs> it's supposed to go, I don't know. I'm not really quite sure what that's supposed to do. All right. Oh, these are fun. These are very Paloma Picasso. They just have a circle. This goes with that other earring that goes into the mystery box. A fun little vintage butterfly. We'll put that in the mystery box. Mystery craft box. Ah, ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna bet, I bet, hmm. I'm not gonna bet money, I'm gonna give a wholehearted guess that I think this is JJ. It is not. But that is so fun. Um, I, I have this necklace in um, in gold and I love it. This one may have been gold at one point but it is now a silvery color or a very pale gold and this one is actually hold on because mine mine is all they're all one length this is graduated I love these I think they look so elegant on this is I think it's supposed to be silver I, I love these this one's not my favorite I think I'm going to try that on the stretchy silver bracelet it'll go into the mystery box these are fun. These pastel crystals. Earrings. Trying to find earrings here. Um, this necklace is not marked. It's pretty though. Goes into the craft box. Yeah, these remind me of the Paloma Picasso X's. Uh, this is probably the other Monet earring. These are those scarab bracelets. I found a few of these. Some are nicer than others. This one isn't marked. And I think these are plastic. I don't know if they still sell or not. We'll put those to the side for now. This is pretty um, discolored, so I'll put that in there. We got some more Monet hoops, I believe. Yeah, this we got too many of those. Throw those in the mystery bin. Oh, this is nice. This is 14 karat. So good. Just a tiny little cross. That probably went on 
this necklace. Let's put that on here for now. St. Anthony. There's the other earring, which I am gonna throw in this craft mystery box as well with the other one. <sighs> There's a kitty. Have a sharp watch. We have a another sharp watch, diamond quartz. This one's in a little better condition. Uh, this is leather. Yeah, I think this is real leather and bone and beads. Native American, um, let me look at that. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, so this, there was a little hoop that I picked up that these went in. So we're just going to throw these in the craft lot. And this little earring is, let's see. Not marked. Not marked, but a fun little earring. I don't know. That's a flower in there. So that's it. Yeah, I hope in one of the other bags, the other earring to this comes along because those are really cute. Um, I'm going to keep filling up this mystery bucket. I think we're going to throw this guy in there. That's a really pretty pendant. Um, so obviously my favorite thing besides the obvious gold is him. He's my favorite. So he's not for sale and neither is this. Uh, but everything else, if there was anything you're interested in, um, let me know. If you just like to watch that's amazing too and i will see you guys tomorrow if you missed the first one go back